What is up, Smashers? It is another awesome day. Check it out, American flag. Yeah, you know it, you know it. Super strong, that's what we do. Hey, first of all, before I even get started, we're gonna be, you know what, let me go all kinds of segues all over the place. I did a uh, bunch of hang power cleans and some front squats and uh, hang clean 315. I will post the video. Um, that's PR for me. And it was, uh, it was pretty legit, not bad for having a bum wing uh, and being an old dude, right? But uh, I wanted to say hey to uh, CrossFit Maui, Danny, Whitney, you guys rock. I just wanted to say hello, mahalo. I haven't seen you guys for a long time. And uh, anyway, this video's for you guys. And uh, yeah, you too, Tim. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. So we're gonna talk about the, uh, the shoulder, wrist, elbow trifecta. So this is one long kinetic chain. And as I sit here and I pace around like I, I can, nervous long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. And I uh, figured I'd do my Fast and the Furious impersonation with my uh, Sparco hat on. But hey, you know what? They threw me the hat, so super cool. Same with Kill Cliff. So hey, you gotta wear the fun stuff. So if you look at the way the shoulder and the wrist and the, uh, and the elbow all work together, the elbow has to rotate, the wrist has to do circumduction, and the shoulder, it goes all over the place, but the shoulder is the most used joint and the most unstable joint in the body. So to be able to go overhead, and trust me, going overhead is normal. So to be able to go overhead and lock out that position, you need to be able to screw that, that elbow in and lock it into place, that radius needs to lock into place so that ulna can lock out, right? Because otherwise you wind up with this bent problem. The arms bend like this, the shoulder rolls forward, and you wind up just dorking around your wrist and it becomes, there's so much load on your wrist when you go to press out because your arm is bent. All that force, whatever weight it is, whether it's 95 or 495, it doesn't matter if you're Sam Dancer and you're doing reps with 400 pounds. And yeah, you're a badass strong Sam Dancer. I, I know that, I've seen you. Your legs are like my waist. But it's gonna load up that, uh, that labrum and you're gonna wind up rolling forward. You're gonna wind up peeling that labrum right off that, uh, that glenoid fossa. So you need to unload that and it's all one kinetic chain. So if the wrist is out, the elbow's out. If the elbow's out, the shoulder's out and vice versa. If the shoulder's out, the elbow and the wrist are out. The elbow's out, the wrist and shoulder are out. You get what I'm saying? This is a three piece puzzle. So I'm gonna show you how to unload all that stuff. Eight bones of the wrist, two rows of four and they have to allow and accommodate for that perfect lockout position when you have that bar, whether it's overhead like froning or if it's out a little wider, it doesn't matter. You need to be able to lock that arm out because this I have some friends of mine, this is their overhead position and they're always talking about shoulder pain. It's because they're all connected. So if you can't fix this, it doesn't matter what you do here, what you do here. You have to do all of it. If you can't fix this, it doesn't matter what you do here, what you do here. If you get what I'm saying, that's super important. They all have to work together. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fix them all together at the same time. How's that sound? Pretty freaking awesome. Well, I almost dropped an F-bomb there. Can you believe that? On a freaking Saturday? I think that'd be okay. So we're gonna grab the, uh, we're gonna, you notice this is a pretty heavy band and I'm gonna, move this here. Hopefully YouTube doesn't pinch me for uh, using some music in the background which is louder than normal. But it's super important to understand. Sorry, you're gonna look at my fat thumb for a second. There we go. What do you think? Pretty cool palms, huh? Well, at least they're not hairy, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the band. This is important because you wanna be able to have complete flexion and extension of that wrist and you can't do that if the bones are banging into each other. So those four bones, or those eight bones, they fit together like a puzzle piece and they are supposed to cause that carpal tunnel. So carpal tunnel syndrome, bunk. Don't go get surgery for that. They start hacking you open and chopping things up, shaving things down. You wind up with wrist issues for the rest of your life, but you also wind up with elbow, shoulder, and neck issues. Yeah, I didn't see that one, huh? Don't do that. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get these to fit properly together. We're gonna kind of force them into the right position gently and then we're gonna take them through ranges of motion so all that tissue frees up and we scour away and get rid of that ropey, gummy tissue in the wrist. Then we're gonna move up to the elbow and get that full terminal elbow extension. Sorry, there's this fly here. And, uh, and I, I wish I had the reflexes like, uh, like what's his name? Daniel's son? I don't know, from uh, Mr. Miyagi, Karate Kid. Don't remember his name, Ralph Macchio with the chopsticks. Don't have chopsticks, I ain't that fast. Faster than you think, but I ain't that fast. So you're gonna take the band and you're gonna load up the wrist. As you can see here, let me get in the way of the sun. So you're gonna load up the wrist. So I'm gonna load this band up like crazy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant my hand. So you wanna make sure this does never, this part of your palm, the heel of your hand does not leave the floor. It's Velcro, glued to the floor. 
There's a thousand pounds holding you down. And then you're gonna lock everything out and you're gonna crank around through all these ranges of motion. And you're really, this is what, like this is abysmal, especially from doing all those hang power cleans. And you're gonna, I want you to take it through range of motion. Don't just kind of rock around like this. That's not gonna help. So I mean, really, really load it up and then just really crank over on that. I mean, you, you're not gonna hurt yourself, but trust me, you are gonna free up that wrist. So grind away, that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna use the opposite arm just because I have the elbow here and I don't wanna show you my butt. So you're gonna take your arm, you're gonna stick it in here like this. This is gonna be just below, okay, just below the, uh, the Olecranon. So this here is the Olecranon, that, uh, the part you're gonna throw into somebody if you're, uh, if you're Diaz or McGregor and you're in a scrap to the death. You're gonna do this two ways. So you're gonna put the palm towards the rig, you're gonna plant it down, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna grind away. This is number one, and if you really wanna get aggressive, get it just above the elbow. This is a lot more aggressive. Like I can feel this, oh, that's just grisly. And you're really, get, like I can hear it click, 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 and you're just gonna grind away and get that all loosened up. So like you're almost trying to do cardiopulmonary resuscitation on the floor using only your triceps instead of your body. And then when you're done, flip that hand around and then you're gonna do the same thing. And except this time you're going in and out like this and you're gonna load up that band. It's gonna really, really crank that elbow open. You're gonna regain a lot of that terminal elbow extension because I see a lot of you guys with issues with the elbow because you can't get that fully extended. You wind up here and you're like, yeah, my elbow's in full extension. I have a friend of mine, that's how her, uh, her muscle ups are. And she stalls out here because she can't get that full extension. That's gonna turn into shoulder problems and neck problems later on. So that's number two and two and a half, all right? And now we got number three. This one's pretty sick, pretty simple. Let me grab the, uh, the camera. Yeah, check this out. We're gonna even do this under the hat. What do you think, huh? We're gonna bring this all the way over here. I'm bringing my camera stand in case you're wondering what in the holy shiz I'm doing. So check this out. Check that little CrossFit Brentwood in the background. Yeah, CrossFit Brentwood. Place is pretty cool. I like it. Matt and Lindsay, you don't come in here. You guys gotta come in here, check this place out. This is my home away from home. They know it, I know it. This one's easy. There's two variations of this. What I want you to do is I want you to try the first one, which is pronated hands. So if you, if you read up on any shoulder dysfunction, you're gonna find there's something called the acromion. It sticks out, it's like this claw, this bird beak that sticks right through here. Peck minor sticks onto it. Um, short head of the bicep sticks onto it. Now Wolf's Law, the piezoelectric fact, all this stuff starts to remodel, bones remodel according to stress. So I'll get real close. What happens is that little hook starts to come forward and it starts to flatten out and it starts to cause a big impingement in the shoulder as we age. So if bones re remodel according to stress, follow this. Let's put a different stress on them, just like braces, and let's open them up. So what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna hang 10 minutes. Yeah, 10, you heard me right, 10 minutes. You can break it up into sizable chunks, but accumulate 10 minutes every second day. You will change your, your shoulders, will thank you, you will avoid surgery. I promise you this, you will send me a message, I guarantee it, in probably five years when I'm still doing this crazy shit, and you're gonna see this, and you're gonna go, holy, I remember that, I almost needed shoulder surgery, now I don't. And you know how I know? Because I've had tons and tons of people do this. So the first one is, you just wanna free up the shoulder. This is gonna free up the lat, the teres, the serratus. It's gonna drag that scapula all the way up the way it's supposed to. You're just gonna hang. I want your feet off the ground. So right now, I can sit here and do egg beater, but that's not what I'm gonna do. So you're just gonna let gravity take it. I don't want any hollowed out position or anything. Just let gravity take it. That's position number one. You're gonna stay here. This fly is driving me freaking crazy, by the way. I swear to God. Yeah, I know that. I'm gonna post this anyway, because I look ridiculous. But you're gonna hang 10 minutes. So if you can only go for a minute, Go ahead and come off. This is the only time I'll tell you it's okay to use lifting straps. Some of my patients, a lot of my friends, I tell you guys to use lifting, lifting straps because I don't want your grip to fail. The whole purpose is to hang. Get a clock on the wall like I have right now and just run it. Okay, that's number one. The second one is going to hit your wrists, your forearms, and your shoulder all at the same time. This one's a little more tricky. You're going to get into a supinated position and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to hang like this. Now this one's a lot harder, so if you can't do the first one, don't do the second one. You're going to hang out like this for how long? 10 minutes, good. When you come out of this one, I promise you this, you're gonna, your shoulders are gonna hurt a little bit for about 10 seconds, you're gonna go to raise them up and you're gonna go, holy geez, I'm like a spider monkey. Spider monkey. 
That's how you free up the elbow, the shoulders, and the wrists all at once. Get your mechanics right, get your lifts right. Longevity, you don't need a joint replacement. No way. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks. Check it out, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day.